Hello, I am Uday and today I am going to talk about how I build my machine learning project like uh, I have built a connect recognition using machine learning so what you need to build a machine learning project data, a model and the and combining both of these two you, you can predict the output which, which is simply a machine learning process which is simply a process to build your first machine learning mod, machine learning project so you might be thinking it is very easy to build a machine learning model machine learning project like you can you will take the data from the internet then you you can simply take a model from the tensorflow or keras and then you fill train the train the model on that data set and you can predict the output but it's not that easy not that easy so your data should be in an organized form to build a efficient model with a higher accuracy so today i'm going to talk about how i build my kernel recognition using machine learning it is a competition on kaggle and you can also try it first you go and try it and then you can compare the results with my video or like my output whatever you say so these are the basic libraries which we which you will use in your every machine learning project numpy pandas matplotlib sklearn and tensorflow so here and in this blog we are accessing the like accessing the train data set and the test data set so here you can see that we are already given a train and test data set the train is the so train data set is the train data set is the data set on which we have to train our model and test data set is the data set on which we have to test our values like in which for which the value should be predicted by our model and if that predicted value is with uh, if that predicted values you know, predicted values are like equal to the real output then we can say that our model is efficient or higher accuracy and or it's predicting the correct output so train dot hit three what this will do it will predict it will tell it will print the first three uh, first three lines of the data set so everyone should you should always check this train dot head because it will give you the idea of how is what your data set is about and how you should how you should move forward to like make it organized or like remove your or how to prepare how you should prepare your data set like so train dot is null dot n dot describe is like giving you the how many null values you have in your data set y train so y train is about the output of the training data set and here x train is the features we are using to train our model so x dot train x train is the like x train is the combination of columns of all the features and y train is the label data set which is the output of our model which should be which is the output of that features like inputting those features we will get a particular output so y train is that particular output and x train is the features that will be that we will give the input to the model and x test so here you can see that x test, x test contains id too so id doesn't matter it's simply just like the what you can say the index of the data set index of the data so 0 1 2 3 uh, like serial number of the data 0 1 2 3 so we don't need that id so x test in x test we have removed that id so x train dot shape x y train dot shape and x test x test dot shape so here we are checking the whether here x train dot shape will give up the m cross n of that like matrix so there are 6000 rows and 74 columns and then y y train dot shape we have 6000 columns 6000 rows and one column and x test x test dot shape we have 5000 rows and 74 columns so here you can see that the x train and y x train and x test have the same number of columns you need to be so here like 
you need the exact number of train data exact number of features in the test data set and the trained data set because you have trained a model on the features that you need uh, sorry i just like forgot what i have to say uh, so x train is x test contain the features on which you have to train a model and x test columns should be equal to x train columns because you had trained your model on that features which you will be giving the input while x train so the number of columns should be same in x train and x test so pld dot figure plot dot figure so so here we are checking the how many times the zero comes in the data set one comes in the data set two comes in the data set so here we are checking the frequency of the digits that are in the data set so here here what we are doing like here we are like making a here we are resizing the image like we are making the width and height of the image of 28 into 28 so we are making the image of 28 great so we are here we are making the <coughs> here we are resizing the image in this column and here we are displaying the image so we are displaying the image of the second element in image of second element in the image data set in the test data set so if i put two here you can see that i don't know what it is but it is in kannad so i put zero here it is changing like it is three it is three in like real this value is three and three is written like this in kannad so here we are normalizing the data so x train normalizing data is like pre-processing your data it will make your model to like it will make your model more faster like not more faster it will normal it will help your model to learn more better and why train is going to what this is doing it is like hot encoding in your data set so you have values from 0 to 1 0 to, you, your output will be in between 0 to 10 so whichever value will be the output at that place it the array will put 1 and and rest of the place it will be 0 so let's assume you have 10 10 digits in, you have digits from 0 to 10 as the as the output so if your output is 0 so it will print like if your output is 0 it will print like 1 comma 0 10 0 9 zeros so how many zeros we can see that like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 9 zeros will be there actually because we have this from 0 to 9 uh, next if it will be one if it is one then the output will be like this so this is a hot one one hand one hand one hot encoding it basically like help your model to learn efficiently or to print output more efficiently so x train and x, x test we are like reshaping the matrix from whatever whatever with the size of the matrix it will reshape it to 28 into 28 matrix here random seed is 44 but you can set it like 1 2 also it doesn't matter and in this line you are like splitting the you are splitting the train data so you have the train data set how will you know that how much accuracy is does your model have basically having a higher accuracy means that your model is predicting your model is good while predicting 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 the output so from the training data set half like assume that you are using 70 percent of data to train the model and there's 30 percent of data to test whether the 
output predicted predicted by the model is correct or not so by using this theory we check how good is our model so x train so train underscore test underscore split is simply just splitting a train training data into train data and validation validation data so validation data helps us to predict the help us to know how good is our model so here here i have built my own model using like tensorflow.keras so this for this you have to learn some bit little bit of the theory about how how to build a build a efficient model for your project here i have compiled the model so optimizer it will use adam optimizer to optimize my algorithm like to optimize my model and loss is categorical cross entropy and matrix is equal to accuracy so and here we are fitting the model here we are fitting the we are fitting the data set into our model so, and we will we have got the accuracy of like 0.993 so here i will here i am here i am predicting the output from our model so i took the first element from our data set from our test data set so this is the value of that data set this is the value written in kannad of the data set so prediction is going to model dot predict x test and prediction of zero so this is one of thinking it has given us the probabilities what this number can what this image can be so whose server index has the highest priority will be the answer of that index so i have find the max element of that in max element at that index in this prediction zero and the value is 3 so this is the 3 so here this is how i build my model this is how i have trained my model and predicted the output so i have also written a blog on machine learning you can check it out i will put i have put the link in description below thank you thank you guys